Hello everyone, I'm late and today I will read the story The Frog Prince and answer the question in the um, story The Frog Prince One evening a young princess went out to take a walk in the forest She had her favorite toy, a golden bone When she was laying the ball rolled along on the ground and fell down into a pond. Pond. The princess looked looked into the pond, but it was very deep. She began to cry and said, "If." I could only get my bone again. I would give everything that I have in the world. While she was speaking, a frog put a head out of the water and said, Princess, why do you cry so sadly? Oh my god, she said, my golden bone fell into the pond. The frog said, If you love me and let me live with you, I will bring you your bow again. What a silly frog, thought the princess. I will never be his friend, will tell him he can have what he asks. So the princess said to the frog, well, if you bring me my bow, I will do what you ask. Then the frog went deep under the water, and after a little while, he came up with the bow and threw it out of the pond. When the young princess saw her bow, she took it and ran to the place and forgot about the frog. The frog called the princess, but she did not stop the next day. Uh, When the princess sat down to have dinner, she heard a strange noise at the door. It was the frog saying, open the door, my princess, dear. Open the door to your true love. The princess ran to the door and opened it, and there she saw the frog. frog. Her father, the king, asked, What's the matter? There is an ugly frog. The princess said, He helped me this morning to recover my bow. And now he want to come in, the king said to the young princess. Princess, you gave your worst word, and you must honor it. Mm-hmm. Open the door. She did. She did it, and the frog hopped into the room and sat close to the princess. The frog sat next to the princess and ate from her plate. After eating, the the frog said, Now I am tired. Uh, Carry me upstairs and put me into your bed. And the princess did, but but she was very upset. As, as soon as it was the morning, the frog jumped up, hopped hop downstairs, and went out of the bed. The princess thought the, that the frog was gone forever, but she was wrong because the frog returned in the night and ate in her plate and slept on her bed. 
the frog did this for two nights, but when the princess woke the fourth morning, the she she was surprised to see a handsome prince. He told her that he had been enchanted by a witch who had changed him into a frog and that he had to be a frog until a princess led him to eat in her plate and slept on her bed for three nights. Now, said the princess, I will take you with my to my father kingdom where I will marry you and love you as long as you live. The young princess and the prince got married and they lived happily many years. Um, <coughs> a talk, talk the story I learned a lesson that it had to keep Uh, now I answer the question in the story one. What does she stand for in the second sentence? The princess said she would let the frog live together if the frog took the golden bone princess for her. Two. Where did the bow go? The bull fell into the well. 3. How did the princess feel? The, prin the princess is very sad and crying. 4. What came out of the pond? The frog is out the pond. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.